morning. Scouts go out in the field. We measure 30 feet. We measure number of stalks, number of ear, ears per 30 feet in two rows. We bring three ears back, always the fifth, eighth, and 11th. We're always doing the average of the, of the number of ears, the average of those three ears, and come up with a yield. That it really is our ear length, our ears around, and how many ears we have. We start here, we're in Nebraska, we're in York County, we're in 30 inch rows. I had ear count in one row of 51, and the next row too was 53 ears in a row, and then the grain inches, one was five and a half, one was six, one was six and a half. The three ears we picked, we, we have three ears, average six inches. We have kernels on each of these ears around. We had uh, 16, an 18, and a 16. It's always even on a corn ear. There, there are never an odd number of kernels rows around. So we average 16 and two thirds on, on the three ears, kernels rows. Then this says it's an irrigated field. We figure all this up come to a 180 average yield. This is my formula. So I use the ear count times the length of the ear times the rows around, and I divide by the, if it's a 30 inch spacing or a 20 inch, or mostly corn is 15 or 20 or 30, mostly 30. All this irrigated corn out here by Grand Island is pretty much 30. They're, they're flooding it or they're pivots.